cool. This is our uh, our uh, new office update here. Uh, these have just repurposed the racks that we found in the in the building, all over the place, really. Um, some of the weird old equipment, but uh, pretty um, pretty good progress. Uh, this is just big storage shack, but um, we've used 12 uh, cases so far, I think, from our shipment. Um, got a bunch of B cases there, and we got some walls going up, and uh, this is going to be a pretty, pretty cool office. Um, not sure what the story is here. These must be like bookshelves or something. And we'll have a pretty slick little lobby. Um, don't know. Oh, who's, oh, this is office number one. But don't know who's. Um, yeah, pretty nice little lobby here. And some of these desks. Is it liquid? Huh. It's like a. I just touched. Office number two. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is office number three. Um, cut in windows because some of these offices didn't have windows at all, which is pretty, pretty crazy to think that, um, you know, you just add windows to something. Uh, the safe is still here. And even the security <laughs> uh, deposit boxes are still here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, dang. First half combo, all the combinations are taped to them. I don't understand why. But uh, obviously somebody is going through and ransacked, I'm sure. I wonder what that is. Pretty neat. I don't know what we'll ever do with it. Ooh, I just touched something. But, uh, yeah. There's another safe over here. Oh, no, this is like where, yeah, people could like deposit money from outside. That's cool as hell. Maybe we can actually use that still. Wow, neat. Neat. Um, another big window that's cut in, but I'll show you where Simple Fiber is going to be operating here. Um, this is going to be like our knock uh, office. Um, something to the effect of in here, I guess, somewhere. I'm not sure exactly, but um, we're going to hang some televisions down, maybe from that beam or something. Um, and then we're going to just have, it's going to look really cool. Um, the ability to, I'm guessing this will be an office too, just a tiny one. Um, the ability to um, get Zabbix. We'll have Zabbix up um, for all three towns that we're in right now. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's go upstairs and see if anything's changed. <clears throat> all these are real too, which is so cool. Just getting an arborist to come and. Uh, Cleaning up. I doubt there's nothing going on on the second floor, but we'll see. Now this is going to be more of the sales side. Um, this is going to be the conference room. Got another office over here. Got a new window um, cut in. And got another uh, another window over here cut in too. Um, and they just uh, used a uh, a saw and then just pushed this wall right out. It was a pretty pretty cool video. I wonder if I can track down that video from somebody. <laughs> we got our. Oh yeah, you know it.
This is this used to be all cubicles. I don't know if it. I guess it's gonna go back to being cubicles. Big awesome room. This could be in a bunch of things. Cool little private office up here with a killer killer window set up. This is it's really a shame. They uh, didn't have the windows in the first place. What's going on back here? We got some bathrooms. I think there was another. This used to be a conference room, I think. Yep. Pretty awesome. No, this was like a kitchen, I think. Damn. How does that still work? I guess it just has water in it. It's not handicap accessible. And then this just takes us right back out. <clears throat> so, not a whole lot's changed here, just because everybody's been so busy. Uh, we've got a bunch of our stuff that we're storing. Uh, drills and chainsaws and jackhammers. But, alright, well, it's time to uh, get to cleaning out the cars, because I just got too much junk uh, everywhere. I'm going to chunk some stuff. Um, going to just be getting rid of this stupid Cisco thing, this Sienna thing. I'm still keeping it, just because I want to get, see what the CLI is all about with that thing. But, cool. I, uh, what I said, what I said I wasn't going to do, um, sort of migrate all my nonsense into a single, uh, single rack. That way I can kind of, um, keep, keep track of my life, I guess, a little bit better. Um, this is, uh, a culmination of a bunch of stuff, but we've got our Arista in the back there. Um, there are servers that I'm waiting on some rails for. We have a 610. Um, this particular box can pull backups from most of our network services. Um, monitoring uh, VPN stuff, and it could actually, we can just deploy it here instead of uh, downtown. And, uh, this uh, particular box, uh, same exact concept, um, except can, uh, oops, sorry, um, except it can uh, pull phone systems and uh, bring those phone systems back up um, with within a minute or so. Um, and uh, then this guy up on top is four core, uh, four CPU, like I don't, I don't know. It's like it's a it's a machine though. Um, it's like fully populated, fully maxed out. Um, kind of for our network uh, super lab here. Uh, we've got the um, 5860 with the 100 gig ports. Um, this little guy is a little on the pricey side. Um, right underneath of it is I have the first uh, layer 3 switch that I ever purchased um, I bought this brand new and I believe it cost $900 um, what's interesting this is a uh, EX2200 what's really neat about that is it's still pretty dang awesome um, I keep it because I paid 900 bucks for it I've never let that thing go but I bought these two off eBay for $40, and uh, they're the same dang thing. Um, really nice switches, though. I mean, they're they're you do a lot with them, a lot more than you would think. Um, optics are kind of a pain in the butt to use because you got to use their stuff, and they don't do buy dies. I can't get buy dies to work in it. Um, the uh, Celestica doesn't have rails, so we're going to get 100 gig uh, set up, but it need, i got to get a shelf or something. Um, and then uh, um, the Arista uh, runs um, reverse airflow, so I'm going to go ahead and just put it back here and uh, 
you probably end up just using it more of a storagey storage thing um, because back to front um, and uh, it's all 10 gig ports so it just it makes a lot of sense for um, for that but I'm waiting on rails for these guys um, and then uh, I've got like five more switches to put in um, that are backup switches and I just want to keep on and configs hot and ready and stuff um, moving a lot of our uh, backups uh, here as well so we can actually back stuff up so we have a fifth back a fourth backup location um, you know external hard drive um, off-site uh, third party locally of course um, and then here we're gonna have uh, uh, ability to backup services so we would to, for uh, example a customer um, to lose um, like their voicemails for example I mean we're gonna be able to bring those voicemails back even under a pretty pretty big event taking place but uh, yeah it's so like a little 27 u rack um, yeah for 200 bucks and it's pretty cool because um, it's on wheels uh, I've got a thousand pounds on top of it right now and it's she's doing good uh, I'm gonna come through and put um, all this cabling is gonna get like it'll be better but uh, the um, uh, power we're running all the equipment at 240 on the primary uh, power supply um, and then uh, pretty much how I do that is uh, I'll show you. So, the easiest, uh, easiest way to pull that off. Um, this is a regular receptacle, like you would see a 20 amp receptacle. Um, it, and it's uh, 120 volts typically. Um, all you do is replace the neutral on the other side. Um, and then now these are 240. There's nothing wrong with it. The wiring, um, you know, is all the same. Uh, and you get uh, more efficiency out of everything. Um, I did this for the Bitcoin uh, miners. Um, so I have a couple of these receptacles that just run uh, 240. So there'll be uh, a 240 uh, primary on every device. Um, and then I'm going to put a battery uh, down here um, that is going to feed the secondary uh, so, um uh, power supply of all these devices that have it and uh, the junipers don't but all the other stuff does uh, cool